Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Jake Ludington here at Oracle Open World with Gary Ornstein and Fusion IO has something new that they have just announced that we're about to unveil that's hidden in this box. Thanks very much for having us, Jake. So we're here live at Oracle Open World and uh, we've announced a groundbreaking improvement to the uh, data center acceleration space, particularly around flash memory, and that is our IO Drive 2. And I've got a unit here to share with your audience. So this has been uh, long in the works. Um, we have broken all performance barriers of previous products, and uh, we're really happy to be sharing this news with customers at uh, Oracle Open World here today. Just to give you an idea of some of the high-level specs, we have 700,000 read IOPS, 900,000 write IOPS, and a, a access latency of 15 microseconds. So this is really uh, groundbreaking improvements from previous products. The capacities uh, range in size from 365 gigabytes all the way up to 2.4 terabytes. And there's really no better place to showcase this kind of new product than Oracle Open World. Oracle databases are used by customers all over the world. Uh, they're always looking for ways to eke out more performance of their in existing infrastructure. Simply by placing an IO drive into, uh, an IO drive 2 into an existing server, uh, customers can get an order of magnitude improvement in their uh, you know, previous queries, transactions per second, and other database operations that are so sensitive to performance. So this is how much, how much better than the uh, previous version? <laughs> A lot better. So uh, one of the big things about the IO Drive 2 is the use of the 2x nanometer NAND. So that's a, a smaller die, right, that, that's happening. And you know, what's, what's interesting in the industry is that as the NAND progresses in terms of the die size, it gets harder and harder to work with. But at Fusion IO, we've spent a lot of time working and developing technology that we call our virtual storage layer, which basically allows applications and databases to talk to the IO Drive 2 in a uh, effective, efficient, and performance-oriented manner. VSL also helps us maintain the endurance levels that we're known for in the industry to make sure that the products uh, have a long life and also maintain the performance that we've become known for in the industry even though it gets harder and harder with the smaller NAND to do that over time. The other uh, thing that we've been able to do with this is maintain the, um, the life with uh, technology that we call adaptive flashback. So flash is, flash media can be prone to errors and failures, but with adaptive flashback, we're able to proactively monitor that and retire specific flash cells in advance of having any interruption in the uh, user's application and essentially restoring the device to full health after any of those events take place. So does that mean that you have um, some redundant capacity there? Exactly. And so that, again, the, the knowing the patterns of flash and We've known them quite well, working for so many years and across so many customers. We're able to intelligently predict those kind of things that are going to happen on the uh, IO Drive 2, and specifically because of the media, and protect our customers from having to have it interrupt their application. So it's a business continuity capability that enables our um, products to function extremely well in the enterprise. We like to think about it as, you know, once you put this into your enterprise and into your server and into your data center, you just want it to work and you don't want to have to change things out and have all that you know, wor worry to think about. So with the IO Drive 2, we've been able, again, with the new NAND, to put in all that kind of functionality that our customers have, been, uh, have known from Fusion IO, and then some. And is this something that works uh, with only x86 architecture? Does it work with Solaris? It works with Solaris x86. So you know, we focus on a wide variety of operating systems across x86 platforms. Of course, all the popular versions of Windows and Linux, as well as VMware, including the new uh, ESXi5, HPUX, um, as well as Solaris uh, x86, and the Mac operating systems as well. So there's broad operating system coverage, uh, broad application coverage. Uh, of course, we're here at Oracle Open World, so we're talking a lot about databases, but we spend a lot of time working with customers on uh, virtualization solutions as well. I mentioned um, uh, you know, when we were talking previously about some of the VDI solutions that we do and uh, the virtual desktop infrastructure, that's a great use case for Fusion IO where customers can put uh, the golden images and the clones of their operating systems for their virtual desktops on the high performance IO Drive 2 and then have the end users benefit from that great experience of dealing with uh, you know, a high performance virtual desktop. 
We also have another product uh, that's targeting the virtualization space, and this was something that we talked about at VMworld. This is called IO Cache. We combine IO Cache, which is used as a caching product, with IO Turbine software, which we recently announced at uh, VMworld, to basically speed up virtual machines for virtual servers. So if people are virtualizing uh, an Exchange app application or they're virtualizing a Microsoft SQL Server application. And the great news about IO Cache when combined with the IO Turbine software is it supports v vMotion from VMware. Mm. So you don't change any of your existing infrastructure. All that storage system that you've had in place remains as is. You use IO Cache with IO Turbine software to get a big boost in performance while retaining your storage and sort of getting more life out of it because you're not taxing it from a performance perspective. You can focus on your external storage for serving as a uh, capacity tier as well as a data protection tier. So is the IO Drive 2 available uh, starting right now? Like, could I order one today? The IO Drive 2 will be available starting at the end of November. And, uh, and so uh, folks who are interested in the IO Drive 2 should contact their local Fusion IO representative. Or obviously, you can visit and get details at fusionio.com. Excellent. Well, thanks for your time, Gary. Thanks for, for having us, Jim.